Don't mind us. I'm on my way. We got a buttload of nerd vengeance to do today. Yeah. Woo! Wait, wait, Chet! Chet, no! Do the fucking cool. You ruined it! You ruined it! <laughs> What's up, Nerd Badgers? Let's do this thing, man. Tuesday. Tuesday morning. I'm feeling sprightly. Sprightly is, is the word. After a long nerd theory, which was dope. But but nothing gets me awake in the morning. Like, arguing with people on Twitter about NFT. So look, I'm feeling real good. We've got a lot to get into. A lot. Star Wars news, out the wazoo. Even some of the stuff that we covered last night, there's still fair game for topics like it's a lot to get into, a lot of things to discuss with regards to that. Miss Marvel trailer just dropped out of nowhere. We're going to talk about that. We'll look at it. I want to see what you guys think. I'm going to tell you what I think. We'll have a discussion about Kamala Khan, about the Miss Marvel show. Are we going to give it a fair shake? Yes. But if we don't like it, we might, we might not cover it the whole time and make all the content i'm not making a breakdown video anyway we'll talk about it we'll talk about it moon knight the moon knight show first reviews are in they're positive but they're not just positive people are saying some pretty crazy things about the show getting me even more excited if that is possible and we will spend some time getting into those i'm pulling into the tower i'll see you in a second Uh, yes. I love it when there's a lot of nerdy stuff to talk about, man. I love it. I love it when there's a lot of nerdy stuff to get into. What is it up, everybody? Welcome to the stream. I hope you guys are doing well. We're going to get into a ton of stuff. Um, yeah, we're going to get into a ton of stuff. I do want to say, uh, before we get into any of the, the news bits, I was talking about this yesterday. But uh, I, I had uh, trouble getting it uploaded, but it is finally up. The podcast, the Den of Nerds podcast with Star Wars Meg is officially out. Uh, I actually think it's an awesome conversation. You guys should definitely go check it out. I think it's like an hour 20, I think is what the total runtime is. It's a really, really good combo. I mean, a lot of you guys know Meg. A lot of you guys uh, were sort of clamoring for me to sit down with Meg anyways. And uh, I don't think the conversation disappoints. I mean, you know me. I have to ask her all the same, the same questions I ask all the Star Wars creators about the fandom, about the fan war, about what Disney could be doing, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But all of that. I'm also going to drop a video later today, guys, about the, uh, what is it, the Kenobi Mall thing, the thing that we did yesterday. And just, let's get, let, take it, shut your mouth and take it a step back. My brain is mashed potatoes. Okay, I'm not going to sit up here and act like it's all put together. I'm not going to sit up here and act like I, we're, we're going to have a good show. But I might occasionally just go. <laughs> because my brain is mashed potatoes from lack of sleep. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to do a video later about the Darth Maul thing. We touched on it last night. Obviously, it's blown up. People were talking about it uh, all last night, and I think there'll be a lot of discussion in the next couple of days about it as well. THR, really interesting article about Darth Maul. People have different opinions about it, and uh, so I'm going to do like sort of a summary video later today, sort of breaking down my full thoughts uh, on it. And there's honestly a ton of stuff that we can get into with Star Wars news. I mean, it's uh, there's a lot. There's a lot going on with Star Wars, actually, which I am grateful for. It's, it's, it's cool to have all this stuff going on. Uh, but you know, some of the stuff is, um, just, uh, I guess interesting, uh, interesado is the best way to say it, I guess. So let's, let's start with the Miss Marvel trailer actually right off the bat. I know, uh, we're going to talk about Moon Knight. We're going to get into the reviews and I have, there was a new Moon Knight spot yesterday as well. 
we broke it down on the Nerd Ventures only stream uh, at 1 p.m. Like we sort of looked at it together, but we'll look at it to, uh, together again today publicly and just kind of go over some of my thoughts. But I want to go over uh, the Miss Marvel trailer, and you know, right out the gate, let me just ask you guys: What do you guys think of this trailer? What's your takeaway? What do you think? Are you hyped? Did it hype you up? Uh, are you pleasantly surprised? Like, what do you think of the trailer? Halo reviews sound booty. Uh-oh. I didn't see that. It's awful. It's cute. Too childish. Not impressed. Looks dope. Wow. A lot of, uh, a lot of differing opinions here. Quantum bands, maybe. Is that the Morbid shirt you're supposed to send to Kendall? Yes, it is. I decided, Kendall, I'm wearing this shit. Oh, look at that. Oh, no, I, uh, I bought one for myself, actually. Trev, if you would have been in the whole stream yesterday, you would have known this already. I bought one of these shirts for myself first. Kendall won the Batman shirt. We went in to exchange the size for the large. They didn't have any more Batman shirts. I said, Kendall, I don't think you mind that because you didn't even like the Batman. And I got Kendall the same shirt. So, uh, yeah, shut your mouth when you're talking to me. Um, uh, hot topic. So we have a mixed, uh, people are feeling mixed uh, on the trailer, okay? Let's pull it up. Let's pull it up. Here's the thing, like, I definitely don't think we can watch this trailer. Um, by the way, I got copyright claimed on my Kenobi uh, video, my Kenobi breakdown from the music that's in that trailer and i i didn't even win the appeal on that they were like nah fam we we want that those we want those views so so fuck you um but yeah because of the weekend man i can't play the song because that is like pro i would say probably one of the most dcm8 or dmc8 uh songs on the platform so like we can't even watch it like i'm not even or rather, we can't watch with the audio, so I'm not even going to chance it. But I will play it and sort of just kind of break down my thoughts. I mean, this... So let me just ask you this right here, because this is kind of fun with the... Like, this sort of comic booky thing that's going on. It feels kind of um, like Scott Pilgrim-y to me. And this would be a really interesting, like, aesthetic for the show, which I, which I would actually like. like. And so I guess I'm wondering, like, do you guys think... This is going to be for the show, or do you think this is just for the trailer? What do you think? What do you think? Bro, if you watch Miss Marvel and not Peacemaker, I question you. I did watch Peacemaker. I watched like three episodes. It just wasn't for me. Wasn't for me. Just for the trailer? Hmm. Okay. Hmm. I guess maybe we'll get some clarification on that because this is the first trailer that we've had for the show and it's not necessarily a uh, we, we just don't know a lot about it. So maybe we'll get clarification on that. I would say, honestly, I hope it's for the whole show. If it's for the whole show, that would be a pretty interesting visual element that I that I'd kind of enjoy checking out. Right. And even this, like, you know, kind of like very, you know, John Watts, uh, you know, Scott Pilgrim. -y. It's I, I, I like that shit. You know what I mean? It would get a little annoying if their all their dialogue was like this, but maybe in some positions, like, like what if? Because because the thing is, she has this overactive imagination, right? And so if what if she's just imagining this, like a little bit of like a Ally McBeal? Holy shit! Not to date myself, but uh, yo, ha put a one in the chat if you remember Ally McBeal. God damn, uh, that was a long time ago. Um, but yeah, something like that could be interesting to see. You know? So, she's chilling. Oh, wait, what's her shirt say? Her shirt, ladies, get in formation. Is that what it says? And it's Carol Wasp. Who's the one? Is that, like, supposed to be Kate Bishop? Like, who's the one on the end there? So, she's getting, like, you know, doing the high school thing or whatever. She's into dudes. You know? But this is what I mean is like, so this whole thing is like, 
uh, a very tweeny, um, you know, romance like fucking uh, adolescent, teenage, teeny bopper kind of stuff. Like, that's what it feels like. Like, that's literally what the show is. Uh, it doesn't necessarily mean that you can't get enjoyment out of it, but that's like, that's that's what they're showing, you know? Stuff with her in the suit. Doesn't look bad. And she's like daydreaming and stuff. So again, this is what kind of makes me think maybe uh, it could be in the show because there's no like word bubbly stuff here. And like maybe he like snaps her out of it and like brings her back, right? Wait, you guys can't even see it. Damn it. <clears throat> like I said, I, I, my brain is mashed potatoes. Let's take it back. Let's take it back. My bad. So yeah, as I was saying, like that kind of stuff's kind of fun. You know, you've got like the word bubbles there. Ladies, get inform get information. Get information. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So she's obviously a fangirl of the Avengers and the female Avengers, which I mean, it plays. It's not like that's unreasonable. But again, like this whole scene right here with her with this dude, like, oh my god, you know? Like that shit just doesn't seem like it's for me. He's got the ro literally like roses in his mouth and shit. That line, when I watched that in the trailer, like, this line was the first thing that I thought was not cringy. Like, it was actually, like, kind of well-delivered. I was like, okay, you know. Got that kind of swaggerous kind of stuff going on. Okay, so this is where, like, it gets a little weird, right? Because, you know, we had been hearing about this for some time, but they've changed her powers... Apparently, she's not even an inhuman anymore. Um, and she finds some kind of a box. Now, people have said this is attached to, like, a genie or some shit. I, you know what I mean? Like, that's what I heard or whatever. And then here it is, this, this kind of a ring right here. Now, I will say that while a bunch of this doesn't really seem that cool or something that I would like, there is a continuation of some interesting MCU ideas here. And I'm interested in what this device is. And is it another one of these things that seems to be that combination of magic and science and like incredible power, right? So the 10 rings that Shang-Chi has, uh, is it technology? Is it magic? Maybe it's both, you know, what the hell? Uh, same thing with the dark hold. Like is the dark hold uh, just magic? Is that technology? What's going on? Similar thing here, right? Cause she literally says it feels cosmic. So it feels like it's some kind of cosmic power. But it's like, you know, it looks like ancient and, and mystical as well. So that uh, that combination of the mystical and the uh, scientific and the cosmic is, I think, really uh, a big part of where we're going with all of this. Getting the, getting the power. I don't know what this is. She's in the upside down now. Also, too, I just want to say that uh, putting The weekend that song, uh, under anything is cheating. So, you know, the the to me, the trailer gets docked points because, like, you've got that song underneath it. I'm sorry. I can't differentiate because uh, that song is just cool. It's hard. Like, dude, I could we put that song under me just sipping coffee right here, and y'all would be like, yo, Josh sipping coffee was probably, that shit was banging, dude. It has nothing to do with me. It's The weekend. Okay. Anyway. You got this kind of... Yeah. She's, whoa, what the hell? Okay, and so here's something I will say. The powers look way cooler than I thought they would. Like, this shit looks dope. Like... Say what you will about, like, the vibe of the show. That shit looks dope. Who are these people? Who are these villains? In her hands. Whoa! Whoa! That shit's cool. Why is it... Just so little of it to see there. But it is cool. Looks great. 
Bam! Boom! Do, 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 blocking bullets and shit. Yeah. So look, man, here's my overall take on it. Like, I'm going to give it a chance. You know, I'm 100% going to give it a chance. It will overlap with Kenobi, and there ain't no goddamn way I'm doing watch parties for this over Kenobi. I mean, that should be Avi. Um, but uh, I'm going to give it a chance. If it's good, I'll make content around it. If I don't really like it that much, then we'll just talk about it on stream. You know what I mean? Like, we'll just talk about it on stream. And, and I think at the end of the day, like, one of the things that... You know, I, I, people were talking to me about, like, what's the, like, what would be the draw or whatever? Because, like, I'm, I, I've always said that, like, Feige and Marvel does a really great job of uh, sort of creating a draw, even in their shows like this one, uh, for all kinds of fans, right? And originally, I had sort of thought at the outset that uh, the draw would be the Inhumans. Like, I've never been that big of a fan of Kamala Khan, you know, like just straight up. Never really been that big of a fan of her. She's not like terrible, but just I didn't, you know, didn't resonate with me. I was like, all right, whatever. That's cool. I'm glad people like it, but it's not for me. Um, so at face value, like I'm just not going to get hyped up about a uh, a Miss Marvel show. But her inhuman, the inhuman aspect of her is actually intriguing to me. And like the royal family and the inhumans and all that sort of stuff. Like, and so I thought maybe... They would inject that more into the story or whatever. That's that's like literally not even a part of it now. So they've removed the the element that I thought I would be into about the show. So, yeah, I mean, it just looks like a perhaps maybe one of the first Marvel shows that is legitimately not made for like me specifically as a fan, which I'm not even mad about. Right. Like, I, so I think the difference between maybe the way certain franchises handle this sort of a thing in Marvel is that there's so much content out there. Like we're literally about to talk about Moon Knight. I'm going to do a, I'm going to do an hour on Moon Knight, baby. You know what I mean? Like I love me some Moon Knight. Uh, so how can I really be upset if this one show out of the, the multitude of shows and content uh, is not for me? I'm not like, it would be super unreasonable for me to be like, Rah! why isn't Miss Marvel <laughs> like, do doing all the things you know like nah like that's that's fine and uh i think it'll still probably tie into stuff later and and you know maybe even be like a serviceable and enjoyable show but uh yeah i, I guess at base like it just doesn't feel like it's a show for me does that make sense like how do you guys feel about this what do you guys think i hope it's good because hawkeye sucked i like hawkeye but uh Hawkeye wasn't, like, mind-blowing. It was a Hawkeye show, you know? <laughs> oh, shit. It seems similar to Turning Red. Really? Okay. That's interesting. I don't really know too much about Turning Red, honestly. Feel the same as you, Josh, Nikki? All right, right on, right on. I don't know, Josh. You got a lot of girly angst up in you. That's true, I do. You would think this would resonate a little bit more with me, but uh, I don't know. Maybe I'm just a different kind of gal. Watch with the kiddos. That's cool. Like, I can imagine. Like, dude, like, here's the thing. Let me let me just say this. Uh, if I had a daughter, I would much rather her be into Miss Marvel than a lot of other shit that's out there. If I was a Marvel dad and my daughter was like, Miss Marvel, let's go. I'd be like, W. Because then I get to experience, like, Marvel stuff. That would be better than... I'm sure there's a ton of other stuff that girls would watch or be into that I would be like you know so after your breakdown I'm kind of liking it right on Moon Knight is two weeks away I know and that is a good segue nice Brian that's cool that's cool Miss Marvel and Spidey and his amazing friends. Are they pushing her hard? I'm not familiar, bro. They pushing her real hard? Okay. Opa. Here we go. Let's talk some Moon Knight, baby. Um, now, look. I've been excited for this one. Uh, you know, we've been talking about that. And I think we even touched on this a little bit yesterday where we were like, man, like, 
I'm really excited for Moon Knight. I wish the Moon Knight buzz was getting there a little bit more. Um, you know what I mean? Like I, I, my level of anticipation. And here's the thing, guys. I've never actually had this happen to me before. Okay, I've never gotten like really super hyped up about a thing. You know what I mean? And like my imagination. You know, sort of creating this anticipation of all these different things and stuff like that. Like, normally, I'm very sort of base level with these sort of things. Uh, I go in with reasonable expectations. And, uh, you know, I, I sort of sit back with, like, a corncob pipe and a monocle and just kind of stare at it. And, you know, that's that's usually me. Uh, but in this case, for this show, for whatever reason, um, I find myself being very excited, very hyped up, saying shit like, it'll be better than the Batman. You know, which, I mean, like, that's a lock right now. <laughs> Maybe three? Uh, Avi. Uh, but, you know, getting hyped up about crazy possibilities. You know, the performance, the the narrative, the thing. It's a masterpiece. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be incredible. You know, this is this has never happened to me before, but I am very excited for the Moon Knight show. It appears that Marvel is also really excited about their Moon Knight show. And I think that having the social media embargo lift two weeks before the show comes out probably says a lot. They put out four episodes of screeners to people. Um, they just did a premiere. You know, they're dropping all these little trailers. Oscar Isaac is raving about it. Uh, I mean, the yeah, it's look, there's a lot of positivity surrounding uh, Moon Knight. And here we go. What are critics' first reactions? And uh, you know, we're over here on the direct. They did a good job of aggregating a bunch of uh, a bunch of them here. And uh, I wonder if this will take me. Will this take me to the actual tweet, or will this take me to? Okay, yeah. So this is kind of fun. We could do this. We could look at them on a tweet by tweet basis. Here, hang on one second. Pull that down there. Okay, so. Sab Astley of uh, Collider, I believe, says, Moon Knight is a brilliantly bonkers, dark, globe-trotting adventure. Whoa! This is Marvel's trippy national treasure. Yo, what? Nice. Oscar Isaac is the best addition to the MCU since RDJ. Entertaining torment and humor into a morally ambiguous cipher. Mark Spector is a whole new caliber of hero. That's... <laughs> That's high praise. You know what I mean? Like, that's high praise. If we sort of pick apart parts of what he's saying here, I mean, I think the, the thing that's sort of caught on that a lot of folks are talking about is the RDJ comparison, right? So a lot of people are sort of saying that Oscar Isaac is going to bring something to the MCU that we haven't seen since RDJ. And there's all this sort of ancillary talk about him joining the Avengers eventually or being, you know, pretty involved in the future of the MCU. And I say, like, why not, dude? Like, if he's nailing it, if the character is really intriguing, then this could just be the first the first sort of dipping our toe um, into the uh, into the Moon Knight pool, man. And I'm I'm super excited to, to check all of it out. So that's pretty wild, man. He says it's definitely darker than typical MCU, but not super dark. That's kind of interesting. How is the fight choreography? Best comparison is like the Jason Bourne series. Woo! Nice. Noise. Thomas from Future Force. Let's see here. Let's see here. I've watched the first four episodes of Moon Knight. It's unlike anything we've seen before in the MCU. Oh, baby. Uh, it's a psychological thriller with a touch of Indiana Jones. Kept me on the edge of my seat the whole time, and Oscar Isaac delivers a mesmerizing performance, mirroring a lot of what we, you know, kind of heard in the last one. A psychological thriller with Indiana Jones, man. Woo! You're talking my language. Let's keep going. What's on Disney Plus called the show Excelente? I've watched the first four episodes of Moon Knight, and it's... Uh, wait, what? Isn't that very similar to the... What the other... Isn't that the... It's unlike anything we've seen in the MCU. That, I mean, maybe they just really feel that, that same way, but they were... That, they're, they're bots! Uh, Oscar Isaac is fantastic. I can't wait! watch the rest of the series this isn't your typical superhero origin it's excellent it arrives on disney plus on march 30th Woo! the narrative man the narrative the uh the, the the ability for them to do something similar to memento Woo! Woo! 
<clears throat> My Moon Knight reaction, part one of ten. Yo, let's go. The series feels completely different to anything in the MCU has ever done before. That is a resounding point. This was something similar that we heard when um, WandaVision. When we were getting hyped up for WandaVision, this was the thing we kept. This is unlike anything. This is unprecedented. You know, all these sort of things, man. Ooh, I'll get more into the review. But in the four episodes I watched, I think I only found one single reference to the MCU at large. Yes. So this is an interesting thing. And, uh, you know, we talked about this a little bit yesterday. I think Kendall had a question about this. I have theories on what this could mean. Um, I think on the one hand, he, he it's going to be sort of an isolated story, so there's not a lot of references to other MCU things, but that is not to say that it doesn't exist in the MCU. However, there is a question of whether or not Moon Knight is seeing reality. There's like this classic part of the Jeff Lemire run where he's on a bridge fighting against Wolverine, Spider-Man, and Captain America having this crazy conversation with them and this fight, and then you realize that that didn't happen. All of that was Mark. Like, all of those personalities in that moment were Mark. So, there's the possibility of some really wild stuff going on here. Wait, where's the where's the other parts? The hell? You didn't do it in a Twitter thread? The hell? I wanted part two. I wanted part three. I wanted part four. Okay, anyway. Uh, the praise doesn't stop there. As Tech Radar's Tom Power said, this is the best MCU TV show ever, ever, ever. Full thoughts uh, to come in my Moon Knight review. When? Soon. But I will say this. It's unlike anything you've seen in Marvel before. Guys, this is the first time somebody has said this is unlike things that you've seen in Marvel before. I don't really know what to make of it. Maybe it's possible that the show is doing things or striking a tone that seems almost unlike anything you've seen before in the MCU. But I will say it like this. It's unlike. Oh, anyway, <clears throat> I'll go as far as to say, and I don't say this lightly. Tom, and I know this because I know Tom. We go way back. Tom doesn't just say shit like this, okay? <clears throat> it's the best MCU TV show ever. Ah! Moon Knight is the beneficiary of being completely untethered from every other MCU project. Without those connections weighing, it, if that's the right word of use, it down. Wait, what? Uh, it has the freedom to do whatever it wants. And boy, does it. The opening episode is structured in such a way. But for the Marvel logo at the start, you wouldn't think it's an MCU TV show. The way it's edited, how its narrative plays out, Isaac's mesmeric, fully present performance. Honestly, it's top tier TV. And again, because Tom and I go way back. He doesn't just say shit like this, man. You got to know Tom to know this. I'll save the rest for my review. But there are a couple of niggly things about it tom you're dead to me i don't know what that means but that's a weird word uh just to put it out there but moon knight is worth the wait i've just got to wait a month to find out how it ends which stings as the first marvel show i've consumed in mass right on tom right on david opie of the digital spy is less positive what the fuck always gotta be one all right, David. <laughs> I've watched the first four Moon Knight episodes, and I'm as divided by the show as Mark himself. When it works, it's a wildly original MCU entry with flashes of greatness, but some of the sillier aspects detract from the horror Diehard comic book fans might not enjoy it as much as newcomers. Mm. 
We're shutting the stream down. I need to rethink some things. We're shutting it down. No, it's just one man's opinion, you know? It's just one man's opinion. Uh, University Film Review uh, loved what they saw uh, from Moon Knight. Here we go. Moon Knight is fantastic. And Oscar Isaac is exceptional as the tormented Mark Spector. This is the Marvel show everyone is going to be talking about. You're goddamn right. Completely bonkers that led with a haunting adventure. Marvel Studios has knocked it out of the park with its best show yet. Right on. Right on, bro. Tom, let's see what Tom's got to say. Tom says, had a lot of fun with Moon Knight. It started weird and only seems to be getting weirder. A good blend of horror, action, and humor. Plus, he has a great cape. Mm. I like that. Respect, Tom. Respect. Emily. Delivering lots of Indiana Jones-style archaeology action. Swap out the whip for a cape. Sounds good. Uh, and Oscar Isaac's great turn. In the lead role. Moon Knight is plenty of fun. It's not as bonkers as I hoped for. What? But a later episode hints much more of that is coming. Ooh. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. So seeing a little cracks, you know, not like, you know, not like everybody's saying it's the, it's the best thing since sliced bread. Embargo lifted. I have seen MCU at Marvel UK at Moon Knight. Hashtag Moon Knight. And he is dazzling. Hashtag Oscar Isaac is a revelation. Put it on your at Disney Plus UK watch list for 30th March 2021. Relish the music of hashtag Hesheminseth and see hashtag make. Oh my God. Why don't you just put hashtag hashtag? I don't even know what I just read. She hated it. Okay. So those are all the first reviews. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. What do you guys think? I'm going to look in the chat. I want to see what you think. I'm waiting for Dan Merle's MK review. I trust him the most. Fair. Fair. <laughs> Josh Reading Reviews needs to be its own channel. Oh, no, 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 no. We just have fun with things, you know? I'm so ready, says Spirit, oh, Spirit. I, I hear you. I love what I'm seeing. Shoes, says Levi. <laughs> uh, MK to the moon. Cautiously optimistic. Boba Fett part two. Ugh. Ugh. Uh, I think they're waiting to see how we're received before attaching it too closely to the MCO. Interesting take. Interesting take. Um, you are going to be so disappointed when it doesn't pop with everyone. Oh yeah, I'll be very disappointed. I'll be upset. I won't understand it. It'll be it'll be rough. It'll be a rough couple of weeks. Um, beta night. Yeah. So here's the thing, man. I. I'm super excited for the show. I think that a lot of the those reviews just sort of reinforce my feelings and my beliefs about what the show will be. Um, you know, there's a little bit of stuff in there that's, you know, just kind of gives me pause or whatever. It's not like I'm going to change the way I feel about it, but maybe sort of, you know, um, adjust my expectations accordingly. Like some people were saying, like, it's not going to be like as dark as you think or it's not going to be as weird as you think. Um, I mean, I don't see how... I mean, it looks weird as fuck from the trailer, so, you know, maybe that's sort of the tone and it doesn't go further than that. Perhaps that's what's going on. But yeah, I think that we've frankly got something really special, you know, when it comes to uh, when it comes to Moon Knight. And so I'm, I'm pretty excited, man. I mean, this talk of how great Oscar Isaac is, I mean, I'm Dion. I'm Dion, and I would certainly not mind... Um, him getting more to do in the MCU and, and hanging out with the Avengers and stuff like that. So there was a new Moon Knight spot. And I want to go over that. I want to show you guys that. Because, oh, baby, is it cool. 
Oh, baby. Here we go. This one we can actually listen to. At least I think we can listen to it. I'll have the, I'll have the thing pulled up because I'm not sure. Yeah, we'll see. See how this goes. See how this goes. Because Day and Night is also a song that. I... Mm -mm. You weren't supposed to see any of this. What are you? You sure you want to know? Yeah. I can't tell the difference. A six episode event. No, yeah, yeah. Boom. Now there's a lot in here, ladies and gentle beings. So let's kind of get into it. So we uh, we think this beginning part here is that's the case that he finds when he has that sort of like key or whatever, right? So this might like be episode one, basically, where. We might be seeing Mark, or rather Stephen, uh, uncovering the mystery uh, uh, of who he is, of his true identity. And there's that scene in the thing where he like is in the lockbox or whatever, right? So we think this suitcase has to do with that. And this is Mark Spector stuff: the gun, because he has, you know, he's an agent, uh, his passport. And to be honest with you, I mean, dude, they put something pretty wild right out there in the open. This is Mark Spector having a conversation with Stephen Grant, which I think is so interesting. And um, there's, the, there's a lot of talk of how they consulted with some psychiatrists and, and they really wanted to do justice by people that have uh, what you know multiple personality disorder, but I think the disassociative identity disorder did, I think is the more correct term. Um, but they're trying to like really um, explain that in a good way. But to my knowledge, I don't think they can co have conversations. I th like I thought that was kind of a thing that they you're 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 different personalities cannot interact but maybe i'm wrong on that but that's wild for the narrative like he's literally gonna have a conversation with his actual self or his other self uh we see this little like scarab kind of beetle thing and i pointed this out yesterday but uh man look at this Mi looks like mr knight here transforming into actual moon knight which is pretty wild but uh you can see this more clearly in the other trailer but the uh, sort of trappings on his armor uh, appear to almost be set up almost like a loom. And it seems like those beetles are like moving around, like almost putting this outfit on him like it's a loom. You see like this right here, you can see it underneath the uh, coming up across, like bringing up the shoulder thing there. Like we think that that beetle has something to do with it. Here he is, in a, and just like uh, Pattinson, you know, the best Batman ever, uh, he he has uh, these things on his chest. So part of his costume, he's literally grabbing uh, the Moon Knight rings or whatever. Uh, this is kind of interesting because this is uh, that organization from, uh, I think it was Endgame, that's trying to deal or help people after the blip or whatever. So that is technically an MCU uh, tie-in there as an Easter egg. The Doctor Doom cupcakes. Uh, this dude falling out. Is that Post Malone? I don't know what the hell that is with that. You know what I mean? But uh, this shot is, looks so cool. Like these Moon Knight shots, I just feel like they go so hard, bro. And... Uh, like this, like just above the car, like two batarangs in, slice and dicing them. Pretty wild, dude. But yeah, I think they're they're uh, turning up the the sort of promotion for the show, um, which is good, you know. And, and I think uh, once the show comes out and there's like word of mouth and stuff like that, like it'll probably be similar to like Wandavision. Wandavision didn't pop right away. Like I remember first couple of weeks like we were doing good numbers and it was like cool or whatever but it didn't like pop and like around week three or four like the whole it seemed like the whole internet started paying attention to one division something like that could happen with uh moon knight and may who knows maybe it'll pop like right away but um yeah super cool man i i am i'm pretty thrilled that we're finally here uh with moon knight and i'm i'm very very excited very very excited about dos moon knight so there you have it. With that, 
ladies and gentlemen, there you have it with that. Um, of course, tons of Star Wars stuff going on as well. I am going to, like I said, I'm going to drop a full video on the Darth Maul situation. I'm going to break down my thoughts, kind of condense my thoughts about that. Uh, the David Lindelof thing is really intriguing, but there's not a lot to go on. Like, we don't know what that's about. Like, there's very little uh, with the report, but it's still cool. Uh, Mandalorian Season 3 stuff. I'm going to do a little video about that. Uh, lots of fun stuff. Oh, and I want to remind you guys, no stream tomorrow morning, but tomorrow night, we're watching X2, but I had a question about that because I know that Spider-Man No Way Home came out digitally. Does the digital release of No Way Home have all of the uh, special features or no? Does it have all the special features that like hundred hours of whatever special features and shit? It does. Hmm. Okay. I'm kind of thinking, and, and look, we were planning on watching uh, X2 tomorrow uh, at 7 with the members. We do, like, member-only streams, you know, every Wednesday night. I was thinking about maybe we switch that to just watching the No Way Home special features. I don't know how you guys feel about that. Maybe we'll just do a poll and see how you guys feel. Some people are like, maybe not going to buy that or whatever, but I don't know if everybody has access to X2 either, so. Watch X2, please. Do a regular watch party? I mean, look, man, we do, we do regular watch parties for all the shows and everything like that. You know? This is the off time before all these shows come out. Every Wednesday night, I just chill with the members, man. We do members only stuff, you know. Just give them a little extra, little little extra love for the nerd vengers. There's nothing wrong with that. X two, everybody still just wants X two, huh? X two is pretty fire. Yo, Miss Marvel trailer drop. Yeah, we talked about it earlier on in the stream. We talked about it earlier on. Do -do 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 why aren't you wearing pants? Because I do what I want. That's why. That's why. Mother trucker. <clears throat> thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Adam. Appreciate that. Okay, so let's get into DOS Q and DOS A. Oh, X is X2 on Disney Plus? Skip X2. Go straight to Triple X, State of the Union. I'm sold. Yeah, R.I.P. Scott Hall, for real. Um, okay, guys, we're going to get into DOS Q and DOS A. Uh, I'm going to go through uh, Super Chats first and some member chat stuff, uh, and then we'll hang out. We'll just chill in the chat chat as well. So, I mean, of course, like Super Chats, support the channel, support the cause, help us out. But uh, if you don't have any loot, like, don't worry about it. I feel like it's a pretty casual day, so we'll, uh, we'll have plenty of time to hang in the chat chat as well uh, and just see... What is on your mind, ladies and gentle beings? Ladies and gentle beings! Boom, here we go. So, Michael Serta is first in to the $5 Hollis. Is finally able to catch one of these live awesome Nerd Theory stream last night. Much love, Sir Josh. Yeah, I thought it was a good stream. I thought it was a good stream. Thank you, Michael. And I remember you because you have the Tobey Maguire uh, uh, thing. So, yeah, appreciate you, bro. Thanks. Good look. Good look. Uh, Rob Cart says, bro, it looks horrible. They really changed her power. Which, by the way, was another scoop Grace Randolph had. And everybody was like, Grace doesn't know anything. And then, a la trailer, a la she was right. Um, so, yeah, that's a, that's a tough one for me, man. I, I Look, the powers look cool. Um, I really don't understand the rationale for changing that story. And uh, But, you know, again, I don't know, man. The, the trailer looks decent but it doesn't really look like it's for me it's the best way i can say it keyboard vigilante peacemaker humor was too juvenile and cringe i mean i agree but again that's subjective a lot of people love that shit right like you can't deny that like peacemaker was a, a success for dc like it's, it was a big show so i always like to say like yeah man not really for me but it was you know obviously a lot of people liked it ej 
Welcome to the Nerd Avengers. You are a Nerd Avenger now. Make your way around Nerd Avengers Tower. Slap Susan up in the lobby. Say what's up to Chet. You know, George, Mike, all of them. Welcome. And thank you for the support. Austin LeFell says, I'm tired of the high school kid characters. Tom Holland, Spider-Man just grew up. And now this brings it back. Don't know how much I'll care about this show, to be honest. Um, yeah, I think that's fair, man. I think that's a fair take. And, you know, I, I tend to agree. Like, I'm not really feeling the high school kind of kid thing either. But maybe if I was younger, I would be. You know, if I was like a high school teenage girl, maybe the show would be like right up my alley. So I, I think at some point Marvel, with the amount of content they put out, was inevitably going to get to a place where some of the content is just not for me. Uh, and I actually don't think there's anything wrong with that as long as there's still stuff that is made that feels like it is for me. So, yeah, I think it's Gucci. I think it's Gucci, man. Ben M. with a fab dollar holla says, The four people in the smoke made me think of the Defenders. Yeah, I think that that's actually going to end up being just... Uh, uh, I, there's like rumors of who it is, and it seems like a pretty unremarkable uh, villain to me. I wonder, uh, wonder if I can find out quickly who it was. But yeah, like to me, like when I heard about who the villains were going to be and everything, I was like, mm, I'm right. Like, okay, 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 man. Uh, let us see. Ross says, Miss Marvel trailer looks movie quality here for it. No, that's cool, man. If you're into it, that's cool. Glad you glad you like it. It looks way better than I thought it would look. Um, but yeah, I'm still kind of unconvinced as far as uh, where the hype should be for me. Uh, old Head Mike's Metalcore and more. Member for 11 months, man. Thank you so much for the support. It says, bracelet looks related to 10 rings. Also, if y'all don't watch, then no bells. <laughs> Hey, man, I'm going to give it a shot. Um, I do think the first two episodes will run parallel to uh, the Kenobi show. So there's no way I'm going to do watch parties for the first two episodes. If maybe by the time the third episode rolls around and I'm like, yo, this show's actually really cool. We'll do watch parties for it. Maybe we won't. You know what I mean? So, but yeah, I think you might be right. It could be connected to the 10 rings for show. T Love, aka the Silver Lurker, with a five dollar holla says, watch the first episode of Star Wars Visions again. I need a fleshed out version of that story. Plus, lightsabers katana is dope. Take my money. Yeah, so T Love, did you read the Ronin novel at all? Because it's a really expanded upon uh version of that story. The first couple of chapters are the same things you see in the episode. There's like slight differences, but it's the same. Uh and then, dude, the lore around that show and the way they handle the force and everything. It's really cool, bro. It's really cool. So I thought it was dope. Check it out. Josh I with a five dollar holla says, R.I.P. Scott Hall, Razor Raymond. He was the goat. Keep doing what you're doing, Josh. We appreciate you. P.S. Take my money, brother. Yeah, man. The Scott Hall thing. I think it's hitting a lot of fans pretty hard. And um, yeah, man. May he rest in peace for sure. Legend. Legend. Absolute legend in the space. Flatbrush Zombie 47 says, Do you think Sentry will ever be in the MCU? My favorite book I've ever read is The Sentry by Paul Jenkins and Jay Lee. So, yeah, I mean, look, honestly, depending on how Moon Knight goes, right, I would love to see a version of that story done in the Moon Knight style. It's similar in some ways, right? Like, he has similar things going on. And there's this idea of, like, is he crazy or did the world really forget about him? You know what I mean? So, yeah, that's dude, that story's weird. And uh, I love it. So I'd be down, man. Do I think we'll get him? I hope so. I, I, I couldn't tell you if it's um if they'll do it like that exact same way or not. So we'll see. Ethan Varga, member for five months, says, Sup, Josh. Just wanted to say, what a time to be a nerd. Also, a Ligma. Ah! Ah! I'm allergic to Ligma jokes, bro. Don't you know? Uh, and also, thank you, man. Thank you for the support. AP with a $2 holla says, Oscar got the role because Disney felt uh, bad, if you know, you know. Um, Maybe? I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I think Oscar Isaac... Uh, He's going to come back as Poe, too. 
But uh, I think Oscar Isaac is just an incredible actor, man. Like, he's been in some amazing films. Like, Ex Machina is brilliant. His performance in that is brilliant. Um, so he probably got a little bit of uh, preferential treatment just because he is who he is. He has a big profile. But uh, the casting for the MCU is on point. They don't they don't usually fuck that up. You know what I mean? H. Krizen, member for five months, says, My first exposure with Batman was Adam West. The Batman to make... take. The Batman, to me, takes the thinking aspect of that and runs with it. What do you think of the Penguin show? Um, I mean, I'll protect, I'll check it out. You know what I mean? I'll check it out. We'll see. You know, um, does it get me excited? Like, no, not really. Um, I liked the Batman. I didn't love the Batman. You know what I mean? So, yeah, I, I, I I'm glad people like it, but I, yeah, I'm not like super pumped up for that show. The Exodus says, remember for two months, I disliked the Miss Marvel trailer more than Dale Dobrik dislikes Fancy Souse. Felt kitty and silly. Should have taken notes from Super 8 or Afterlife. I agree only if the show was trying to be like for people like you and me. Because like, I, dude, I hear you and I can't get to this last chat. So I'm going to go into the other thing and, and look at what Drew said. Um... I would agree with you if I felt like the show was trying to be for me. It doesn't feel like it is. So in that sense, like, I think the, the show is probably like that trailer is probably exactly f going to it's going to resonate with a lot of people that I think the show was sort of built for. So MCU Drew says, I can see the connectivity being low to the greater MCU. However, this pocket of the MCU will have multiple properties involved and will get cray. Yeah, I agree. I agree, and uh, I think those, like, episodes five and six, because I think it's a six-part episode. Yeah, six-part experience, yeah. The episodes five and six, I think, will uh, we'll show you some cool stuff, 100%. 100%. <clears throat> okay. 34 Virgo says, Miss Marvel is Sesame Street MCU all-time low. <clears throat> Again, I would say that... While I maybe share that take, I don't necessarily think all time low. I just think not necessarily for me, you know, which is fine. Like, I'm not I'm not that mad about it. But uh, yeah, it doesn't it, do, it certainly doesn't look uh, like a lot of the other shows, bro. A par with a five dollar says how long until John Campia puts out a video telling us to stare at Benedict Cumberbatch's dong. Also, take my Chuck E. Cheese diaper money. Thank you, a par. Um, <laughs> how about this? I'll, I want to give you guys a little bit of tease just because APAR made me think of something. Um, my buddy Paul from Heavy Spoilers is working on putting together a pretty big and cool video. And he had, a lot of people are making cameo appearances in the video. A lot of other YouTubers. I am one of them. And uh, did I slip a John Campia joke in there? I don't know. You tell me. You'll have to watch it. You tell me. Uh, Crazed Panda with a five dollar house says, "Like the Miss Marvel trailer, feels like a mix of Turning Red and Scott Pilgrim." But Moon Knight is where my hype is at. Yeah, that's totally fair. I, I it looks again looks better than I thought it would. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. So, what else is on your mind, guys? What else is going on? What else are you thinking about? <laughs> what the fuck? Gunner McStabby. That's an interesting uh, interesting point. LMAO. Can't wait to see that. Yeah, you'll like it. Grand Admiral Thrawn says, Hi, Josh. Just dropped in. Yo, what's up, Thrawny? How you doing, bruh? Any idea when She-Hulk comes out? I don't uh, really know, man. I don't really know. Dude, Patrick Wire. Holy shit. $50 holla. Super generous, man. Thank you so much. Says, love the podcast with Meg. I think all of sequel trilogy stuff sprinkled in Disney Plus shows will help flesh out Oh, think all of that will help flesh out the sequels better. Also, think the volume of content we are getting will eventually make the sequel trilogy feel like a bump in the road for the entire universe. Uh, like some felt with Book of Boba Fett. Sure. So let me get into that a little bit. I think, um, you know, ultimately, like, it's kind of funny, right? Because, you know, Theory and I had, like, our, our bro fight last week. And then I, you know, this week I thought it was just so hilarious that, 
like there are stories and things going on with like connectivity to the sequel trilogy and it's like we're going to keep having that same old thing right i think um like i don't know you guys would have to tell me but i would say that i i felt like last night's podcast was a good example of like a, a, a mature way to have that conversation and really like iron out those different points man and, uh, you know, the, the podcast with Meg is really good as well because we sort of get into the minutia of this and, like, what does she think with the fans and the, the response and everything. I do think that sprinkling that content in will help to flesh the stuff out better. Uh, for a fan like me, like, I am I feel positive about that in the sense that um, there were things I liked about the sequels, you know, and there were things I found intriguing about that time and era in Star Wars and uh, having more of that come out could, I think, do wonders uh, to sort of create that. Now, your second point, though, Patrick, is way more important. The volume of content is way more important. What are we talking about with Miss Marvel? If Miss Marvel, <clears throat> if this was Star Wars and Miss Marvel was like the show this year or one of two shows and there's no movies and shit like that, <clears throat> I think it feels a little bit more bad because you could sit there and say, <clears throat> this show isn't made for me. <laughs> Pardon me. But when you've got so much other stuff going on, I mean, we're, we're swimming in a pool of Marvel content, bro, you know? So uh, I'm not upset in the least. And I think that needs to happen with Star Wars. Like, the, the plan can't be just make sequel stuff. Like, they need to make all the stuff. And they need to make a, a lot of fun Star Wars content and give all the kids all the toys. <clears throat> so I appreciate the support, man. And, uh, yeah, that's my take. <clears throat> Arthur, upgraded to the Prime membership. Yo, thank you, Arthur. Appreciate the love. Tonight. Chris Listenfeld, member for 18 months. My God, man. Thank you for the support. Says, hey, Josh, other than Moon Knight, Miss Marvel, and She-Hulk, what other Disney Plus show are rumored for the end of the year? So, Secret Invasion is kind of an interesting one. I don't know if Secret Invasion will drop this year or early next year or whatever, but Secret Invasion is absolutely one. Uh, believe it or not, there's like a lot of other Marvel shows that are sort of like rumored to be in production in different places. Like there's like a Wakanda show, maybe a Dora Milaje show. Um, let's see, what else? <sighs> yeah, there's just a lot of like rumored things that are being worked on. So I, I don't know exactly. I think it's... Uh, It's possible that's all we get this year uh i know secret invasion is something they're working hard on i mean i'm excited for armor wars but like we don't really hear much about that or know that that's shooting so um yeah a lot of good stuff blinker time josh i mean yo like to the face right <clears throat> Werewolf by Night might be directed by the Batman's composer. I can't pronounce his name yet. It's Michael Giacchino, I think is the way to say it, because I think he's Italian, but I could be wrong. Who knows? Maybe it's Giacchino. William says, the $2 holla, says, where and when is No Way Home coming out on digital? I, 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 I don't know. I don't know. I think it's just... Yeah, I think it's coming out of digital like most places. I don't know if it's like, it's not like Disney Plus or whatever, but like where you would buy your digital, like Google, a Apple, uh, Amazon, wherever you buy your shit. Uh, she Hulk has potential, I think. Oh, yeah, I'm super excited for She Hulk. She Hulk is an example of a show that's like, oh, it's going to be super female centric. And this is just, I mean, it's going to be She Hulk, right? But there's like a lot of stuff in She Hulk that I'm like very interested in, you know? Uh, like the, the, her like lawyer stuff, like that's a really interesting element. Um, I love the fact that Matt Murdock will probably play a big role. The fact that Hulk's going to play a big role. You know what I mean? It's like this, like, would I watch sex in the city? Nah, probably not. Like, and dude, like that, that's just real talk. Like that's not for me, but if she Hulk's sex in the city meets law and order with superheroes and there's also Hulk and daredevil shit that that's a little bit more appetizing. Does that, is that fair to say? Is that fair to say? Is that fair to say? Leonard says with a $10 hell, says, Bruh, 
Miss Marvel. Hmm. The show is definitely geared towards a younger audience. I just hope there's some cool grown-up cameos to make it palpable, palpable, pal 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 palatable for the sweaties. Worried about that one, TBH. I mean, I'm not worried about it, but I'm like kind of on the line of like, do I even want to cover the show? You know what I mean? But like, I don't view that as like a condemnation. Like, I don't view that as like, oh no, this guy's falling. It's just like, yo, that's just, might not be for me. You know, like, I don't know what you want me to say. Hair amazing, brother. Me out. Oh, thanks. <clears throat> no way home is out on digital. Uh, Hark says, Miss Marvel reaction. Here's my reaction. There you go. JT Nash says, Hey, Josh, first super chat and always great content. Just had my daughter Freya Jade last night and chilling in the hospital. Keep up the good work. That is awesome, man. That's a cool name, too. Freya Jade. I like that. Yeah. That's got to be cool, man. Congratulations. Glad it all went well. <clears throat> Glad it all went well. I find it hilarious is the same people complaining about who is being made for are the one who's saying it like seeing red, like LMAO. Um, so you watched that, but this is too kitty. LMAO. Fair. Fair. Jessica Jones, the new comic, The Variants. Super interesting. Oh, okay. I have to check that out. Darth Bayou with member for 10 months says, uh, haven't been able to catch one of the live streams while due to work. Just wanted to show some love. Hey, thanks, man. I hope you're doing well. Hope work's okay for you. Life changes. Life, uh, you know, things happen. But you're always welcome in the tower. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. <clears throat> All right, guys. I think we're going to call it. I'm going to call it there. Like I said, I'll do a video later. I want to talk about the Darth Maul story and kind of break that down. There are also uh, rumors and leaks about Mando Season 3. I also have a funny... I have a funny feeling more Star Wars news will come out today. I have a funny feeling more Star Wars news will come out today. We'll see. Uh, the Halo reviews. Any reviews to look at for the Halo show? Ooh. Ooh. Let's see. Um, yeah, it seems it's like a kind of a beautiful mess or <clears throat> I don't know. It's kind of intriguing what I'm seeing. I mean, I kind of never really expected the Halo show to be like really good, though. You know what I mean? Just don't be as bad as some of those other projects and we're good. Oh, Lars, is that true? Yeah, no, I didn't see that at all. An interesting juxtaposition with Moon Knight and Miss Marvel shows coming to Disney Plus. Yeah, I agree. I agree with that. Be good or be good at it, people. Yeah, I love that. That's cool. Grassy ass, Josh. Good streams as always, says Gunner McStabby. Hey, man. Right on. Oh, do ya? You know what you're feeling in the forest, Josh? I mean, we'll see. Grace ran off shit all over the Halo show. <laughs> yeah, it makes sense. That makes sense. All right, everybody. Much love to you all. Thanks for being here. Thanks for the support. Good conversation. Good stream as always. No stream tomorrow morning. Tomorrow evening. We'll stream. And uh, we'll do a poll. We'll do a poll uh, at the beginning of the stream. Maybe we'll do X-Men. Maybe we'll do Spider-Man. 
I want to know what you guys think. Uh, but I mean, either way, you know, we'll have fun tomorrow, 7 p.m. If you're a member, come on by. As I always say, I hope you're having an awesome and a nerdy day, and I'll see you in the next video. Is everybody gone? Did everybody leave, leave, leave? <laughs> uh, so at the beginning of the stream, I was like, bro, your brain is not firing on all cylinders. What are we going to do? But we had fun kept it chill and we kept it moving so thank you for supporting me through the rough beginning of the stream much love much love so much going on it's almost like hard to keep track of to be honest with y'all i'm like what do we even what do we what do we what do we even what do we what do we What are we gonna do? Is everybody gonna is everybody gonna call me names if I don't cover Miss Marvel? Is everybody gonna be like, oh my god, he's not covering Miss Marvel? That must mean he's a poopy face. Like, is that gonna happen? Is that the thing now? Should we just like flip it? Should we flip it? Should we just should we should we double down on it? Should we boycott it? Should we take it like should we take it to like a a, a new a new level? You know what I mean? And like it's it's the woke agenda, you know, and we just go all in on that, you know? Miss Marvel is is Miss Marvel's Propaganda to destroy children. Mm hmm. Yep. Miss, Miss Marvel is ruining the youth. Miss, Miss Marvel must be stopped at all costs. Miss Marvel! I don't know. I'll think about it. All right, everybody. Bye. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye now.